ओके सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन माई चैनल और इफ यू डिड नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल जस्ट गो टू माई चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब मेक श्योर दैट क्लिक ऑन दिस बेल बटन एंड चेक मार्क दिस सेंड मी ऑल नोटिफिकेशन फॉर दिस चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन सेव बाय डूइंग दिस यू विल गेट एवरी सिंगल अपडेट ऑफ माई न्यू वीडियोज ऑल्सो विजिट माई चैनल आई एम श्योर दैट यू विल फाइंड अ लॉट मोर कूल स्टफ ऑन माई चैनल In this video, we are going to create a hero photo effect in Photoshop CS6 extended. It will be fun, so let's jump in Photoshop. Welcome back everyone. My name is Kunal Chandni from Tasty Tutorials and today we will create a hero photo effect and uh, it will be super easy and super fast and having a great output as well. So before we start if you are facing some problems using these actions please make sure that you have watched a complete video uh, before you try that actions because I always mention the version name of the Photoshop on which I have tried that action. like uh, in this video i am going to use photoshop cs6 for this particular action so if you try this in cc 2017 it will maybe not not work or maybe create some errors in that so make sure that you are using same version as i have used in video okay and in some cases if these actions are working in both versions i always mention in the description that this effect can also be done in photoshop cc 2017 or any version of photoshop okay and if i am saying that this uh, effect can only be created in photoshop cs6 then keep in mind that it is obvious that i have tried it in photoshop cc and then after that i have realized that it is not working in photoshop cc so that's why i have used another version so uh, i strongly recommend you to watch the video carefully before you start or before you give a try to that particular actions so and one more thing uh, there is a question that uh, you are facing some problems while downloading those actions actually i have changed the mode uh, from one drive to google drive actually the one drive is much better but uh, for your convenience i have chosen uh, google drive uh, because it gives 15 gb space and it's uh, pretty much nice and uh, yes uh, if you are facing a problem it means that there is no problem in uh, with my files or from my end everything is working fine i always uh, double check the files before i publish these files okay uh, so make sure that your internet connection is fast or reliable for the downloading okay so if you are facing problems don't give thumbs down just wait for the time uh, everything is fine okay and still if you don't find the action inside that file maybe these files uh, deleted uh, maybe these files uh, gone delete so just comment under the video i will try to find out those actions and put them back into the pack okay so let's start our work without wasting any kind of time uh before we start we have a this uh, simple image uh, we will create a selection around our character and after creating selection we will simply just uh uh run our actions the final results are here so there is not a big thing inside that okay so these are simple things like this is the overall sharpen and this is the color correction uh this is the shine correction this is the background you can make it darker much darker it's your choice this is the front character this is the color overlay you can change the colors there are different colors inside that like this color this color this color and the genuine one okay it's your choice one more thing you can make it uh, uh, make a background or not you can turn off the particles you can uh, adjust the shine and overall overall glow on this image and uh, 
you can just turn on the background of our main character this is the background you can change this flag out and uh, this is the main glow okay so this is the background glow and you can turn them off or on it's uh, totally up to you and this is the background okay so that's it what we have done or what we have got in these actions so we'll just close these and we'll see the another example so simple image creating selection running our actions and the results are here okay so let's just close this one also and we'll move it to this example same thing simple image creating selection running our actions and make some of the adjustments inside that look at this so we'll use this image today so let's close this one and we will start from very basic so we'll go to file and i'm going to use uh, this image uh there we go this image symbol and uh the reason to choose these type of images are i don't have to waste my time to creating selection around these characters so that's why it will it, it is a time saving and uh, it's a convenience work so let's create a new file uh the document name is uh hero effect okay and the width is 2560 pixels by 1600 pixels the reason uh, to make this uh, dimension is that uh, it will fulfill the requirements of our actions so make sure that it should be above from 1000 to 2000 pixels per inch and color mode is rgb as well and uh, background contents are transparent make sure that it's a 8-bit image and click on ok now we have created successfully a uh, we can say that uh, document now what we'll do is we'll create a background so we'll go to adjustments and go to solid color you can use a gradient as well but for this tutorial i will use a solid color so use any color it's your choice click on ok and this is our solid color now we'll simply just click our character and click and drag it into our main document now we'll adjust its size it's a simple work just adjust its size like this and uh, don't make it too much smaller as it disturbs our main effect so that's it and uh, yes now what we'll do is we can just make it a little smaller to uh, look like better now that's nice now what we'll do is we'll create another layer name this layer as brush make sure that all the names are in lowercase and uh, it could be easier for us and uh, for the actions the name is in lowercase don't use caps lock and now we'll press ctrl and take our cursor on this layer mask thumbnail oh sorry it's not layer mask on the empty area of our this uh, layer one or character layer and it will create a new selection okay you can use quick selection tool if you don't have this png image you can create selection around your character and then we will change the foreground color to green or red for the time being we will use green color and we'll press alt plus backspace to fill it with this color now press ctrl d now we have selection now we have our uh character and we have our background so we shall less uh, sorry we select these both uh foreground uh, we are character and our background and press ctrl e to merge them into a single layer now as you can see that this area is so much empty what we'll do is we'll press c to call up your crop tool click and we will flag out some of the area so we could save the time of uh, actions so that's nice now click on check mark and press v now we are ready and you can see that there is no background layer we will simply just go to layer new background from layer now we have a background we have a selection and now it's time to load our brushes and actions so for this time go to edit preset preset manager from the preset manager go to this uh, load icon and uh, just uh, move the file which you have downloaded from the link is given just open that folder there is a hero photoshop action open this and uh, there is a brush hero brushes click on select oh sorry select this and click on load okay so these brushes are loaded now click on done now it's time to load our actions go to windows 
and click on actions you will see there is a diamond appears on the right hand side of your tools and now there is a hero option already loaded inside that what i will do is i will just remove this and we will load another one so click on this uh, top icon and click on load actions from the load actions uh there are lots of uh things inside that uh so if you are using photoshop cc or, or cs6 there is the file open this folder click on hero atn and click on load nice now open this up you will see that there is a whole hero folder and there is a lots of processes included in that so we'll simply just uh, drag it right side so it could be easier to see this and now let me just show you what we have uh, in flags there are different flags inside that you can use these flags or you can use your own flag it will ask you about this flag so we'll talk about these later so now it's time to run our actions before we run our actions you will see that there is purge included in that and before run our actions go to this layer mask and click on panel options from the panel options make sure that you have a add copy to copy it layers and groups click on ok now you are ready to work and we'll just simply click on play button and it will take a little time speed depends on your computer's uh, uh, speed so just click on play button it will take a little time so we'll wait for the process to complete its work okay so now you will see that there is a message it is saying that in next pop-up windows just choose the flag that you are like after you place it as you like just hit enter choose continue process so click on continue now it's time to load that flag okay so there are flags inside that you can use these flags or you can use any of the png image you would like to choose so go to this desktop i would like to go to desktop and i would like to choose this uh, this uh, 3d layer which you have created for the time being and uh, just close and click on place it's not a big deal you can use any of the color or any of the image just open this like uh, this move it to the side like this okay that's it now we'll simply just uh, size it up like this to fix according to our dimensions now click on check mark it will run again and now it will not take so much time because the main process is done now the things only left are uh, finishing that with a high-end output so we are ready and three two and before I say one it's done so click this close uh, click on this side panel icon and you will see that the process is done with a great output now you will see that there are lots of things you don't understand so what we'll do is we'll press ctrl alt and click what it will do is it will close everything and when you will open this again you will see that everything is well organized so let's just take it outside and now we will edit our things so how we can do that it's a simple work uh first of all we go to the top this is the overall sharpness we'll check back check it a uh, little so the first thing first is overall corrections and this is the overall brightness you can use it or not it's your choice but if you choose it looks amazing so this is the overall color and uh, this is our character this is the color options and the color options i would like to use this color because it's a fiery effect it looks nice and there are lots of colors here like this and uh, this one but i would like to use the original one it looks nice and uh, there are lots of colors inside that you can use these colors also and uh, yes this is nice so we'll use default colors you can choose the main color also okay after changing the color options these are sparkles you will see that you can copy these sparkles also like this or you can simply just undo that and you just need to go to sparkles and open their folders and you can use that work also so like this 
and press ctrl d just to rotate them vertically to make a big difference between these so that's nice and uh, yes s2 press ctrl d uh, vertical and move them to the side that's nice okay and these are sparkles these are textures you can use uh, there are lots of things inside these textures the smoke and uh, this is the overall corrections and this is the soft background and uh, I would like to uh, use this one it looks nice I think so uh, yes I think we should use that and this is the shutter particles you can see that we will edit these particles because these are lots of particles and uh, we could just edit them from the face so press ctrl and click our brush and we will select this white layer marks thumbnail make sure your foreground color is black select your brush tool like this and i would like to go to the soft brush tool and size it down like this and we will simply just remove that great same thing for the sp2 we we'll just remove from the face and uh, yes that's nice and that's it press ctrl d and there we go and uh, yes shitter particles is done this is the subject below now there are lots of steps inside that open that group this is the shitter uh, glow and this is the character glow okay you can use that or not but i would like to use that it looks nice close and this is the edge glow there are steps inside that just turn off these all and we'll start from very basic in the first step you will see that there is very slow glow turn it on you will see that the glow is increasing turn it on once again then again then again and then again so this is the nice work you can use one or two or three or all of them it's your choice this is the main photo uh, this is the highlight and uh, yes I will copy these to look much better and that's nice and yes one more thing is under this this is the subject copy this also to make it visible and sharpen so close and this is the flag so this is the background flag you can see that it's turn off and turn on you can use it or not it's your choice and uh, i would like to choose that one this is the main glow and this is the background and this is the background overall so that's it and uh, we have done this work you can uh, make changes inside that like creating your own colors by just go to this color sorry go to this adjustments go to color balance you can change the color to any of the colors you can make it and that's it and one more thing is we want to dark the size so we'll create a new layer we'll select our brush tool and uh, size it up as much bigger as you can zoom it out size it up again and now we will just uh, paint it over the image like this okay so you can use that or not it's your choice so all the files are given in the description bar you can free download these sections if you like this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up we will meet in our next video and uh, don't forget to subscribe because it's very very important and uh, we will meet in our next video never stop never depend and keep learning